time. So cringe. It's so cringy to do it. Like you watch YouTubers do it all the time. And hi, welcome back to my channel. And I never like think mm, cringe. But when I do it myself, I think it will cringe. Yes, I'm wearing my Christmas pajamas still. Uh, it's still Christmas. So this is gonna be my how I found out I got pregnant. How I found out. How I. How I found out I was pregnant, how I told my partner and how we told our parents. I have never made a YouTube video before so this is going to be interesting <laughs> but well, here we go. I feel like I should do a bit of a background story on myself before I get into it because I feel like it's very young. Um, I'm 21 and my partner's 20. Um, a lot of people just assume, you know, accident, parents screaming, things like that. Obviously we're not 16, we are adults, but still fairly young in our lives. A lot of people live at home at this age. First of all, I've had a lot of people actually ask me this question, um, including friends and family, and I feel like I've not really answered it 100% truthfully. Um, or I've kind of dodged the question in a little bit just because I feel like judged and I feel like judged by everybody else but I don't really care about people's opinions I don't know it's my the people I care about that I care about their opinions our baby was planned it wasn't an accident I wasn't on contraception um, she, so she's definitely planned <laughs> and I was not shocked I was shocked for other reasons that it was happening, but I wasn't shocked, like, in the respect that I was on contraption, not trying, doing everything to prevent it, I was shocked. But I just like a little bit of background on me to make it more understandable to people. I can see if someone wouldn't know me, they'd be like, why would you try for a baby at 21 years old? I have had fertility issues for as long as I can remember. I, I was in the hospital a lot when I was younger for stomach problems and didn't know what it was. I had every single test under the sun and I still didn't know what the issue was. I never once thought anything was wrong with my periods itself. To cut a long story short, I found out I had polycystic ovarian syndrome and um, endometriosis, which I had to have a surgery to confirm. So I found out I had both of those conditions. Um, but before I found out I had them, I had an I, I had an accidental pregnancy at 16 um, and I did miscarry and then I also miscarried when I was 18 years old. Um, I was more aware that it was a fertility tissue when I was 18 but not when I was 16. I had no idea. I thought it was just, you know, I, I, everyone was like, you're too young, your body's not ready clearly. Um, which didn't help in the situation, but people say these things to you, especially when you're young. Dealt with these things and moved on so it doesn't hurt me as much anymore. Moving on, I had, I'd had previous miscarriages. I knew I had these for two fertility issues. And it's something that I talked to my partner about when we weren't together years ago, because we've been friends since school, um, and we've kind of had this crazy relationship of quite a few years um, in between other relationships um, but we've never actually been together but even as friends um, we were quite close and I told him three years ago maybe about this um, fertility issue that I was having and that I might not get to have children. He knew all along before we even officially were together a long time later he knew that I had fertility issues. We talked as friends for a long, long time. Um, so he kind of knew a lot about my life and things like that and what was going on with me, if I was ever ill. Um, he'd always ask what was wrong or anything like that. So he kind of knew um, before we got in a relationship. I had already had a lot of surgeries and things done. So again, he knew that and when we got together, it's something that we talked about. I was due to have another surgery, it was supposed to be a lot more extensive um, than my other surgeries because I have got endometriosis. So for anyone that doesn't know what that is, it's basically where the lining of your womb grows genetically. Genetically? If that's the right word, but it grows on your other organs around your body, typically within like your reproductive area. 
the bowel and things like that but it, it can grow on any organ in your body they were starting to have concerns that um, my endometriosis was getting a lot worse and i was only 21 i really wanted to avoid surgeries because i've already had a few and scarring tissue is an issue i didn't want to have a lot of scarring tissue when i was wanting to have a family so i already knew that i had to have this surgery uh, before i told my partner um and then i i kind of jokingly said one time to have to have a baby and he agreed jokingly thinking i was joking and i was like I'm serious. I had met with a doctor previously to talking to him and I mean I've been told since I was 16 years old to have children young and it could improve my chances of pain and things like that as well. It's supposed to, the hormones when you're pregnant to us to reduce pains afterwards. It doesn't always work um, but they do say we say things get worse as you get older you might not be able to have children so it's always always a complete thing in my mind that I was never going to be able to have children and I just couldn't not that I couldn't imagine it because I definitely did imagine it but I couldn't imagine it being actually real I don't know I never accepted it it was never something that I was going to accept but it, I got upset about it quite a lot it's something I always thought about and I always thought about being pregnant and I feel like I always knew it was going to be a young mum or at least wanted to be and I met with this other doctor she said to me you, you really should think about having children sometimes it can come across quite rude because not everybody wants to have children like it's okay for me i don't find it as offensive because i do want children but for people that don't um or to just assume that someone does want kids is is wrong in my opinion i think yes they're obliged to tell you if you've got a risk of not being able to carry children i think then yes obviously you should be told I think you should really at least ask if you would like to have children at some point in your life. After I met with her, and that's when I said to my partner, I'm serious, let's have a baby. And he was like, okay. And he just agreed. I think he already knew anyway that I had these issues. He knew it was a concern of mine. So I think that was a big reason that he was so okay with it we weren't actively trying trying we were just unprotected um, and it was sort of it when it happens it happens because i did not want to stress over it i know that people once it becomes an obsessive thing it becomes difficult to get pregnant because of the stress as well i had that that told me like when i ovulate and stuff but i didn't look at it and think i need to get down and day <laughs> i was like I'm ovulating and if it was just a tight with it, if it was in the moon and in the moon, if not, then I didn't. Um and I just we just didn't put pressure on it. Um and then I think naturally start to put pressure on it and I would just test every month and naturally I think I started to get more try try and I was oh obviously even me not trying subconsciously I was hoping every month so and I think that is the same for anybody whether you've got fertility issues lost babies in the past anyone that's trying I think it just happens it's natural and then we moved into an apartment and, and at the time we moved into the apartment I also started a new job um when we first moved in the night of no the day after we moved in our apartment started flooding there's a long list of issues with that apartment but it started flooding we had a lot of lot of issues when we first moved in and we in long story short we ended up getting put in a hotel for two nights so TMI I don't know if this is too much but it was the only time I think in the entire month maybe the second time that we had intercourse together <laughs> and um then I started my new job like what I was I was already I'd already started I started the day after the first night we stayed in and so the first two weeks of my new job like my mind was completely off everything i was still moving in the process of moving into our flat so i was very busy i was on my feet all the time walking around um and then i think it was literally two weeks after the hotel um uh, that i because i obviously i had the tiny little cheap 
test in the house and I just did one and I think I was like a week, be- not a week, probably like five days before my period um, and I did one and then I was like, I thought I saw a line but I didn't know if I saw a line so I was like trying to just like look at it but sometimes like especially, you'll know, especially if you're trying, sometimes you can imagine a line <laughs> because you think you want it that bad or you stare at it that much so you can probably see where there's supposed to be one but I didn't know if that was the case it was very it was a pink one and I looked at it within the time frame but it was beyond faint it's like so some people would say that it's not even there it was beyond faint but because it wasn't a strong positive it's so it's like more anticipation like I wish that I could just wait until my period was missed but I just never did I always tested before um, so yeah, I tested and it was very, very, very faint and I, I think I left it that night, I can't remember. The next day, I think I did a test, at the point where I was like, there's definitely something there, whether it's dying or not, there's something there, um, and I called my best friend <laughs> instead and we drove all over town my partner was at work we drove everywhere to find I wanted this specific like pink test because I only had blue dye tests and the people say that they're the worst for evaporation lines which is like almost if people think it's like a false positive it's if you leave the test out too long and a line comes up after a time period it's called an evaporation line it's not real positive it's just something to do with the water we drove everywhere to find them and we couldn't find any but I bought like 20 pounds worth of tests and like I think what well one of them was like at 14 pounds and the rest were like cheap ones and we went home and I was like testing and then we were both looking at it and she was like, friend was like I can't see it I can't see anything and I was like neither can I and I was so confused because I couldn't see anything from them I could from the other one um and then I did another one um when she left and it was it was darker it was still faint but it was I could see it I could hold it here and see it so then I had it in my head that weren't going to tell my partner until I was 12 weeks pregnant because I was that scared of losing it um but he walked in the door um and I told him straight away I just said guess what like and he's he just was like you're pregnant <laughs> because obviously like I say it wasn't sort of a shock we, we weren't some you know he sees test lying around the house it wasn't anything that was a whole shock he knew that w- what would happen he he reacted really well obviously um it was it was really nice and i told him and i showed him and he could see it as well so i was like you know, sometimes you just need someone else to say i can see that line so you don't feel crazy and they got darker then and i was showing my friend um I never, I don't think I actually took a test. It was like really dark because I found out that early that I was pregnant um, and then was seen straight away. So I don't think I ever like took one that was actually really dark. I feel like I've jumped out of like symptoms and stuff. Like I just went straight into it. But because I did it so early, I didn't give my body a chance to get symptoms. The only thing I would say is I, when I started my new job, I broke out in spots <laughs> and I don't really I say that now I've literally got the same spots in the same place I did now I don't really get spots and I I had like four on my forehead and like some on my face because for me what for me it wasn't normal to have that many spots just for me personally um not even around my period I don't you know like I never normally got spots I just felt like you okay like not I don't, I don't know how to describe it because <laughs> I didn't feel like sick UK. I just felt different. Um, my boobs were sore, but I can't even remember if I said it in this video or not. I had breast implants um, like six weeks before and me and my partner had said whichever came first. Um, I was like, if I get pregnant, like I, w- I wouldn't be disappointed if I couldn't get my boobs done. And if I got my boobs done, that would kind of like give me something to be happy about for a while and then I would take the pressure off like being pregnant and stuff and I just kind of enjoy myself and my body 
um, with many boobs um, and then both came on <laughs> typically. My boobs obviously were sore from my surgery and they just started to not be sore so I couldn't tell whether they were sore because of my period or because of the surgery like it it's a very similar it was a very similar feeling it was my nipples that gave it away my nipples got sore but I've always every single month I've always had PMS I've always had sore boobs so it's never been an, a pregnancy indicator for me I don't I never thought I'm pregnant my boobs are sore um whereas like someone who doesn't have sore boobs would think that of, I assume if they got sore boobs randomly um but for me I every month every single month from like the day after ovulation till I hit my period my boobs would ache <laughs> for like two weeks straight in terms really it was the spots at that point like I said I found out so early that I my body didn't get a chance to have symptoms um that was all I had and then I had the sore boobs and that was that was it I didn't I didn't really have anything else I had a lot of TMI had a lot of white discharge but again that is something I used to get every month I would say it was more thin than usual and just more of it but I kept thinking I was coming on my period but I wasn't and I still it's only just started to calm down now when I'm nearly 20 weeks no nearly 19 weeks um, but again that's it is something that I, I did have from PMS anyway a lot of pregnancy symptoms are like period symptoms like she can even get like bad cramping and stuff in the beginning i didn't i don't remember getting any cramping um at the start of this pregnancy um maybe a little bit a week before or just before i found out but not not when i was due on or anything like that i rang the doctor straight away and they said they was like oh yeah like congratulations but we won't see you until like seven to eight weeks um, and you won't see a midwife until that time. It's difficult because there, there is nothing that you can do if you lose a baby within that time. There's just nothing that they can do to help you, even within the first 12 weeks. Um, but obviously, as the weeks progress, the less chance of miscarrying. But just waiting, like I feel like the whole way through pregnancy is just waiting to get to another step. Like. I thought I would stop worrying at 12 weeks and I am just now I'm like okay now I need to get to 20 weeks and then I really want to get to 24 weeks. I didn't have any symptoms of the nurse for the first six weeks. I got to six weeks I started feeling really nauseous. I wasn't sick I just felt really sick and it's just not like the movies at all and I really thought that I weren't going to be sick like I don't know why I thought that. I thought it was just like, it's not going to happen to me. It's just like one of the things that you see on the films. Um, I was nauseous for one week. Starting from seven weeks, I was sick every single day, multiple times a day. I w couldn't keep a meal down. I was so sick. I, d I don't even remember like a four week period. I was in just in bed that much. I, I was so, so sick. I was keeping the liquids down. So it wasn't, it was I was borderline dangerous to be going have to go in the hospital, um. But I was I was okay. I was still having liquids, and sometimes I would be able to eat. And then I would actually try and eat and go to sleep. I can't do that now because now if I eat late, it feels like my food is in my throat. But I couldn't eat, and then stay awake because <laughs> I wanted to throw it back up. Last bit. I don't want to make. I know this is a long video, but I don't want to make a separate one because it's not not long, and I'll try and keep keep it to a minimum. The way I told my mum, I was really really nervous to tell my mum. I wasn't nervous to tell his mum um, and my sister. Um, I've got two sisters. One lives here, and one lives in my home country. I was nervous about telling the sister that lived here because she's been like my other my sister that lives away is very. She's like my age. <laughs> She's very chilled out. She likes my little body and she will just not give a crap what, I, what you say. My other sister is like a second mum. She was worse than my mum when I was younger for stuff so like if I, she'd be like, she was just very, she was like a stroke sister. <laughs> so I was really worried about telling her. And I'm just being judged like it's, 
I feel like everybody feels like that. Even it's not just a thing of being young. Like some people don't want to tell their parents when they're thirty years old because you don't know how they're gonna react. Um, for a number of reasons, I felt like she wasn't going to be. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have any concern that she'd be like shouting at me like, "Oh my god, you can't be pregnant" or anything like that. I had no concerns of that. I just didn't know what she was gonna say. Um. I just didn't want her to be negative. I feel like if you're married or you've been with someone for a long, long time or it's very broadly known that, you've, that you're trying for a baby or you're just 35 years old and you announce you're pregnant to your family and friends, they're like, oh my God, congratulations. And I feel like anything but that, people can be like, uh, oh, I don't know I just they're not so quick to be like oh my god congratulations and I didn't expect anyone in my family or friends um to say that because we're young I just feel like it's not expected um so I didn't I weren't expecting that reaction so I was scared of anything else um I went to the hospital and I had like an emergency scan because I had like a little bit of spotting um, and I was obviously really really worried of miscarrying uh, miscarriage, miscarriage. Um, and I've got a history of miscarriage so I went to the other pregnancy unit and um, I didn't I didn't tell my parents at that point his parents actually dropped us off at the hospital when that happened um, but we still didn't tell anybody we just you know I, I've been in our hospital a long time for lots of different stuff didn't really like ex have to explain to anybody they didn't ever ask a question whereas my family would have asked a question like what's wrong uh his family just didn't ask like they didn't pry and i had a seven seven eight week appointment with the midwife at the hospital and my mum was picking me up from it and i always always have small bags like crossbody bags um I never have, I never carry around like a big bag with me, I never have like since school, like I've always had a small bag, so I never had my little bag with me and I had my appointment, no but I got a big fold that was like this big and it had, it was like a baby fold, it had baby pregnancy all over it <laughs> and it had like all my documents inside and my mum was picking me up and I knew I was going to tell her um, but we said we weren't going to tell family until 12 weeks. I came out of this appointment with my big bag in my hand, I got in the car. My mum thought it was from endometriosis, a problem. Again, being at the hospital wasn't weird, so it wasn't like a, a question of why I was even going. Um, so just, like I just went, and then she didn't say anything before. And then I got in the car, and I didn't. I think saying the words "I'm pregnant" is so like awkward. I don't know why. Like it's just hard to like say "I'm pregnant" or. Like it's just even now saying I'm pregnant it's like gradually gradually less weird but especially in the beginning saying it is like it's a big thing and it's very nerve-wracking like you don't want to say it I understand how people do it on text because it's so hard um so I didn't I didn't say anything I just held the folder up and she was like what like she just weren't seeing it and I was like looking at the folder then looking at her and looking at the folder so she'd carry on looking at it until she got it and it said like it said baby in big letters on it so she just was like what what am I looking at <laughs> and I was like oh my god so I was really looking at the bag and she finally clicked on and she just was like no way <laughs> in that term no way and I was like and then she was like, are you joking? Because I thought she was like gonna go ballistic at me when I thought she wasn't gonna go ballistic at me and she did the way around. And um, I was like, no, I'm not joking. And she was like, I don't know what to say. And she said, congratulations. I don't, I don't know if she did. I can't remember. She just, I think she just asked if everything was okay. She wasn't mad. She was just in shock. Um, but yeah, it's, there was obviously no instant congratulations, which she's my mum, I'm so young, um, 
and things so yeah but it wasn't a bad reaction i went to my sister's house and i sat on the sofa and she was like what like i didn't even say anything i didn't even say i need to tell you anything or anything like that she said what and i was like i was so nervous and i like nearly started crying and she was like you're pregnant and i was like yeah like i feel like some women just have the intuition as well like i'm surprised my mum didn't my mum said she she said she did think that um my sister said it's because my face got rounder which was very nice very true but she was like no i'm not being mean she's like you just that happens when you get pregnant um and she's like i could tell that at this point i'd been throwing up the loads and i you know it was a mess i was shattered like the first few weeks of pregnancy up to 12 weeks obviously after that as well i was so tiring like the tiredness that you feel the fatigue that people say is a symptom is just like insane but my sister um she got up and she hugged me straight away and said congratulations and i just didn't expect it and <laughs> that sounds like an insult to her but it wasn't at all i just didn't expect it i've never any other time i've either told like with the previous pregnancy that i had miscarriages with i have either told her over text one time she found out because she was pregnant at the time and i was in hospital and i had to go to emergency service suspected the topic and she found out then so she's never really found out in a good way i just didn't expect it um i thought she was gonna be like what <laughs> why are you pregnant <laughs> his family we just um we waited until 12 weeks until 12 weeks again we didn't tell them um, and then we went on the day we had the other time, we went to his mum's house, told them, they said congratulations and they didn't say anything bad or why, like it was just congratulations guys, and we were really kind, nice about it, and then the same with his dad, and uh, we told him about a week later, because he lives further away, um, and then his, his sister and siblings and things found out then as well, um, and then we announced it like publicly, and no one no one said a bad thing to us uh, everyone was really nice and kind um yeah that was that was it. it wasn't really like a big issue um and not to our family or anything there was no like drama <laughs> falling out or anything like that uh, so no tea there um <laughs> but yeah that is basically it so and now nearly 19 weeks